Nice move from Jamal Williams again. Good move from the big man inside, and that takes the Lions into a four point lead. And Dave. Oh, wow. Bounce and he's passed and he's in, in for an open two. Eagles again looking for, for some answers here with Fletcher coming up and calling the play. Very much in the half court. There's Drew Laska going to the basket. That's a nice move from Drew Laska. Gets in for the two. Yeah, great move from the Eagles. Uh, London coach will be absolutely going berserk with his team over that. There was no weak side help whatsoever. Nobody moved a step when Drew took that baseline drive. There's a Wumi coming off the screen for the nice left-handed shot off Taylor's assist. Still that four-point gap. Fletcher now looking to go to the basket. Oh, throws it inside, but it's picked off by Hassan, who's back on. Taylor finds a Wumi wide open for a three. Misses that one. Eagles a bit lucky there, but Alaska comes up with a rebound. Throws it long for Morton, but just too far in front of Morton. Just a little bit overcooked on the pass, but, you know, not the tallest player by any imagination, but Drew Laskin can certainly get off the ground when there's a rebound to take. And it's such a bonus for coaches when you've got guards who can take rebounds. Well, it, it's you know rebounding these days. It's a five-man game, isn't it? You can't you can't carry a passenger on rebounding at all. There's a lot of people who come up with the theory that oh, there was a nice ball inside. That was a lovely pass inside from Hassan, a nice cut from Awumi who goes to basket for two, and then the Lions leads now up to six points, forty to thirty-four. Yeah, this high screen that London are running top of the key is causing Eagles problems for sure. And there's already been another look for a, for a baseline drive here, but the London defence is ready. They're so ready to help out from the weak side. So now going to the basket and fails to make it. Wumi, Kai Williams, Jamal Williams, nice ball movement, Jamal curling in the middle. Good defence from Darius Defoe. Has to go back out to Taylor. Shot clock ticking down. Taylor. Oh, it's a lovely move from Taylor. And he finds Hassan inside. And Hassan lays it in for two. And Lions lead by eight points now. 42 to 34. The four answers from the top from the free throw line with a two. Puts it back to six. Yeah, important basket that could. The Eagles have no timeouts left in this quarter, so they have to do it pretty much, I would guess, with the with the lineup that's on the floor at the moment. Excellent defence from Fab because Hassan's a, Hassan's a real threat when any shot goes up from the Eagles. A nice move from, from Fletcher to get past Taylor. He lays it in for two, cuts the lead to four. I think that's uh, you know, one of the reasons why when Eagles do tend to sort of be looking for answers to Noyal from out there, leading, by example, leading the defence. Yeah, a clear message from Flood there. Let's take our defence high. Let's cause these prob guys problems in their own half. Uh, point I made before: Eagles foul trouble. That's that's too easy for the Lions. It's a foul against the key player, and it's the Lions' chance to go to the charity stripe. And it's actually uh, the foul from Fletcher was actually on William Ashby, who's just come on, uh, young London guard in his, in his first BBL season. Come on, probably just to, just the rest players for that last minute, and he's picked up. A foul on, on Fletcher, which is a, a bonus for London. He missed his first shot from the free throw. He makes the second one. That's, that's a nice little introduction from Ashby. He makes that second one, so that's that's a nice bit of play from Ashby. Yeah, two possession game for the Eagles here, and and I think they would like to score off both of them and get a stop to go in at half. You know, maybe one, two down rather than five. And interestingly, Ashby straight out there because Eagles go on offense and bringing Moy on probably for his defensive capabilities against Fletcher. Fletcher finds Defoe at the top of the key. Defoe's two point shot off. Hassan takes a rebound. He has Moy coming flying down to the other end. He finds Hassan just outside the arc, guarded by Flanoy. Hassan looks to. Great steal from Flanoy. Years of experience in that steal. He finds Lasker outside. Curls round all the way. Lovely point from two points in the That cuts the gap 40 to 43 with 15 seconds left in the quarter. Last shot probably the Lions. Holding for that last shot with Taylor being guarded by Lasker. 
finds Hickman wide open. Hickman got the three, and that's made that three, and that's an excellent play from London to give them a six-point lead as the final hooter goes for the. Scott Martin in the game. Scott being pretty much top scorer in every game for the Eagles so far, but he only has two points at the half, uh, and he's the one who puts the ball into Fletcher to get us underway in the second half. I also noticed Taylor hasn't hasn't scored a point for Lions, but he has got five assists, so he's obviously like very much leading on the court from the front. Eagles there working it wide to Jackman, who has a three-point shot, but just rimmed out. Taylor himself comes up with the rebound, brings the ball up. And, Nice slow movement up the course, in control, finds Hassan, who finds Kai Williams, who comes inside the yard, tries a two-point shot, misses it, and Owen Jackman takes a rebound. Jackman off to the races, lovely pass inside to Defoe, and Defoe penetrates the basket, makes two. Excellent play by Owen Jackman. Yeah, that's the other thing the Eagles have got to do, is to get Darius Defoe involved inside the paint. That was the first score of the second half, and it takes it to a four-point ball game. A Wumi from the outside, and he's missed that three. Laska going for the rebound, fantastic skill from Laska. Unfortunately, just bothers the ball, but it was a real, real heart and desire to win the ball, and he managed to get the steal, but unfortunately couldn't get, recover the loose ball. You know, his, his quickness is a big factor. I think he's going to, you know, if he, he, he can intercept those balls, he's away. You can't catch him on transition, and, you know, look to set him up for some drives. Taylor finds Jamal Williams. Jamal Williams back to Taylor. Taylor guarded by Jackman. Taylor making it all the way to the basket, but misses the shot. Defoe comes up with the rebound. Taylor still on the floor. Fletcher coming up. Finds Jackman outside. Jackman turns down the three-point shot. Martin finds Fletcher, who comes into the key and makes a nice little two inside. Yeah, Taylor clearly took a hard knock there. I mean, he was a long time getting it up. Look outside, he very much signed as a backup to, to Zaya Taylor. And, and if, if, if Zaya Taylor's going to be out any time in this game, obviously they'll need both Kevin Moyer yeah, yeah. and Lockhart. Good point. Jamal Williams finds Hassan in the paint. And he makes a two point play. Tough play inside. Eagles with Lasker bringing up the ball on the court. Jackman in the corner, back to Lasker. Lasker finds Fletcher. Fletcher pointing the way he wants Defoe to set the screen, trying to penetrate. Finds Defoe inside, but De Defoe's guarded by two players. Found Jackman. Jackman tried to turn the corner. And it's fouled by Hassan. Block and foul by Hassan in the lane. Yeah, I'm impressed with uh, London's start defensively. They're, they're playing really tough, but. You know, if you look at Richard Hassan, and he, he shot 66.67% in that first half, and he's only taken one, and he's, everything he's taken is inside the paint. High percentage shooter, I, I think he was when he was at Leicester as well for those two years. Jackman trying to penetrate. Steal by Lockhart. Hassan comes up with the loose ball. Finds a roomy. I don't, I don't think the I don't think that um, all and Jackman had any alternative there but to attempt that back because the crowd was shouting down the clock for him. Oh, good pass from Scott. Yeah, lovely pass from Martin, which allowed Lasker to, to drive at the basket, and he's fouled by driving to the basket by Jamal Williams. That's the place to get Drew Lasker out quick on the break and ahead of the defence. He's taking a knock as well. Tough start of the second half. Players taking some hits. Shows how tough a game this is physically and very, very intense from the defensive end. Jamal Williams foul call as a, a shooting foul, so last out at the line for two. Makes the first. for the second he makes the second as well Kai Williams inbounds to Lockhart Eagles back within two points now at 46-48 to London London on offence Awumi coming out for the three 
he misses that one Scott Martin takes a, a good rebound not quite a balance his offense without Taylor Fletcher finds Lasker inside he finds Jackman outside Jackman shot off the rim rebound taken by London but Jackman's back with a steal to make up for missing the three-point shot yeah I mean the Eagles Eagles have set out on the to close down the shooters much quicker at the start of the second half I mean it's not a lot you can do when a guy takes a, an NBA range three-point shot as Awami did Taylor back on the court that's good news for Lions and their fans as uh, Lockhart takes a seat so Taylor obviously fit enough to reach to start the game Tough play inside there. Jackman tried to go in, find, find Martin. Martin got the ball and was judged to have travelled. Looks as if he's talking to the referee about the call, but travelling call foul. Sorry, travelling call on Martin. And Taylor now back with the ball for London, coming over the halfway. Faced up by Martin. Well, the Eagles have pulled it back to just a two point deficit, so uppermost in their minds will be a stop. Which they haven't got. Because Kai Williams has just knocked down another three-pointer from quite a distance out. Taylor finding him with a pass. And so Taylor come back on and making an immediate impact with an assist. Lasker now with the ball for the Eagles. And certainly Eagles haven't been able to get that up-tempo game going at all. Defoe tries a two-point shot which rims out. Well, it's not easy, Jeff, to defend that wing-to-wing -wing swing that... Uh London Lions are doing a lot of the, the spotting up three point shoot there again, wing to wing swing. And there's Taylor who's yeah. made a three point, that's the first shot. He's still limping, Dave, but he's made a three point shot from Wolby's inside pass. Just as the Eagles pull it back to two, the lead's extended back out to eight. Three point damage, really throwing that ball across the floor. It's almost like they're playing skip passes. And there's Lasker replying with the three for the Eagles. Pulls it. About the six points. Yeah, if the London strategy is to defend the paint, then the Eagles have got to open up with some outside looks. Oh, good defence, Scott. Good defence. Forced the turnover. Scott Martin first forced the turnover from Jamal Williams. Alan Jackman goes to the bench and Lenoy back on. Yeah, I think Alan got a little frustrated there, didn't he? He wasn't making his shots and he his answer was to see if I can penetrate in and he had the ball stripped off him twice so probably probably fab you know wise to make that change nice movement again from the Eagles good Lund defense from London he cut the ball down again Kai Williams making the two-point play at the end Eagles certainly struggling with this uh, Lions defense yeah, they're defending the paint well as a thing I think the Eagles you know with Fletcher Scott Drew Lasker, I think they're capable of opening up with some outside shots there. Fletcher trying one. And obviously, the Eagles will be looking to Fletcher at that point guard to run things, and he's just had a lovely three there to cut the gap down to four. But London back on the ascendancy and back with the ball coming forward. Two out of the two from the three point line, but you know what? I feel that's player instincts taking over. Foul called inside and immediately acknowledged by Lasker. Holding foul instincts in the sense that they'd been inside on that London defence, got no change out of it so they're opening them up from the perimeter Eagles looking for a stop here Sam, Sam trying to go against the four inside shot clocked out to five and Ruby finds the sand inside nice move and he makes the basket virtually on the buzzer well, these inside players are doing his percentage no harm. Uh, he's, he's really effective inside. And Scott Morton going for a two-point long two-point shot. He missed the game. S still not got his shooting boots on quite yet. Taylor there, nice move by Taylor. And Hassan who puts it back out to Awumi, who finds Hassan and says, that's lovely play by London Lions. Really nice basketball. Hassan is the one guy on the floor who the Eagles can't afford to leave open under the basket. He's certainly making his presence felt, has all game, but in this third quarter he's, he's been dominant in, on, the, on the offensive side for, for London. Fletcher now trying to get Eagles going, finds Fennoy, Fennoy tries to turn the corner. That's Fennoy's shot waved off for the travel. Darius 
just before taking a break and Joe Hart coming on now. I mean, no, I think that's probably the fifth travel leagues that have been called for, but I mean, there were only nine turnovers, there are probably only one more than you would hope. I mean, he'd like to have no turnovers, but, uh, you know, as far as turnovers are concerned, the Eagles were far lower than the Lions were in the first half. Joe Hart giving the job of, of Gordon Taylor, who lovely move inside, but as he tries to find the sand cut into the basket, Eagles break the play up and ball goes loose and it's Lions ball at the end line. Yeah, Ten good, seconds left on the shot clock. Could help defence there from the Eagles, prevented the easy bucket, no, cut away the drive to the basket. Something they'll have to be looking to do a lot more. Taylor now trying to get the ball in. And Hassan again is able to a good block by Scott Martin. He finds Fletcher who's off the races and finds Hart outside for the three-point shot. And in it goes. That was Eagles transition basketball at his best. But back come London immediately. Taylor looking for a foul inside, doesn't get it, but he regains the ball. Finds Williams outside, who finds his brother Jamal Williams, and he makes a three in reply. Wow, textbook offence, really reversed that ball. The, the two quick passes, guys wide open on the three. Laster goes past. In the word, trying to calm things down, quiet and players down. <laughs> Fetch your new see What's the problem, ref? No problem out here. Tenoy finds Lasker inside. Lasker brings the ball out. Now trying to drive to the basket. Finds Flanoy on the outside. He finds Fletcher for three. Fletcher's shot just rims out. Hassan takes another rebound. Finds Taylor immediately. Taylor's off and running. Setting up a play at the other end. Sets up a three-point shot for himself, which again just rims out. Martin takes the rebound. Eagles looking to spread the floor a bit. Morton looking to go coast to coast. And he's made that and it foul call is a continuation foul to the two points will count and Scott Morton will go to the line. And maybe that'll be the spot that gets Scott Morton going. Well, referee Chris does uh, certainly been watching the NBA. Clear continuity player there, no doubt at all. Two points. Good call from the official, very good call. You so often see them run out, don't you, and point to the floor when the players that from the basket. But I really do think Scott was in his first step there to, to the basket. And this, this, this is youthful if you can hit this one. Yeah. That, 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 that cuts the lead to five points. London with a woman bringing the ball, guarded by Lasker, finds Taylor, and Taylor faced up by Fletcher, inevitably. Turns the corner and looking to go, looking to penetrate in the middle, misses his shot. Hassan gets up for the rebound, but he can't get a grab it in. The ball goes out over the end line, and Eagles got the ball and a chance to cut the game to three points. Jamal Williams taking a break, and Joe Ickman coming on for his first minutes in the third quarter. A little bit of a surprise, but then again, the Lions defence has been playing really well and probably haven't needed him just to that point. Yeah, and I think Hassan's been a genuine threat to the Eagles, uh, you know, in and around the paint. Joe Hart brings the ball up, finds Scott Morton on the curl, and Scott makes the jump for Scott Morton, makes his jumping shot there, and that cuts him the game 63-60, but it still lies in the ascendancy. Important that, because it reduces the deficit to three, but that's now four Eagles players who are connecting with outside shots in this quarter. Taylor got it by Lasker this time as he brings the ball up for London. Finds Kai Williams on the outside. Good defence by Joe Hart. Tries to strip the ball away, but he, he succeeds. But the ball goes out of play and it's still London ball. Ten seconds on the shot clock. Kai Williams to inbound. Good defence from the Eagles. Find Hassan. Hassan facing up against Flanoy. Misses the two point shot, but gets the rebound and puts it back. Combination there from McKinwer and the Sanders a little bit too much for the Eagles defense. Fanoy now puts the ball in his hands, finds Martin who comes out, finds Fanoy who's going to go inside, Hart outside for the three point shot. That's in and out. Fanoy just feels to get the offensive rebound, and London's off and running very quickly. Taylor cut up the middle. He finds a Kimman on the outside, his three pointers shuts off. Martin finds Lasker. 
Lasker showed a lot of experience there. He knew if he just went in the middle, the criminal had no choice but to block him and, and, and draw the foul. But well, his quickness caused that foul. He's lightning, isn't he? He really has got quick steps when he catches that ball. With Lions in the penalty in 55 seconds to go, that would be two free throws for Lasker. Important free throws at this stage of the game. This is the first. Oh. makes the second. Jamal Williams back on. Hassan takes a break. Excellent quarter from Rashad Hassan. Well, the Williams boys have got, still got half of the London Lions point but the big thing is here has been a Sands presence and his number of baskets he scored around the Eagles hoop in this quarter Jamal Williams well guarded by Joe Hart Kai Williams now has the ball he's trying to go to the basket and he takes Fennoy all the way to the basket and makes the two and we are, we are where we started the quarter with Lions in one by six and with 30 seconds to go Eagles looking for a shot here Fletcher calls, calls the play, finds Flanoy wide open at the top of the yard. Alaska looking to penetrate, and another travel call on... Another travel call on Drew Lasker as he tried to turn the corner. Turnover, you know, you, you've got your last offence of the first half, the last thing you want is a turnover. Done a little bit of damage tonight, these, um, these travel turnovers from the Eagles. Probably that six or seven offence is where... They've been called for the travel and they haven't got a shot off. Lions have got the ball here with 15 seconds or so to go and probably got a hold for the last shot of the, the quarter. The Wumi guarded by Lasker who's doing everything he can to try and put the Wumi off. Wumi backing him up, trying to go down. Finds Jamal Williams in the corner. Jamal Williams drops just that. Thunder probably won't mind missing so much because they got the last shot of the quarter. Because you would expect one or even both the big men on, because you know, especially with the, the threat of Hassan under the basket. Yeah, and Hassan was the big danger in that in that quarter. Hassan is still on the bench, and it's Ickman who's got the ball and been guarded by Fernoy. He finds Kai Williams. And Kai Williams going to the basket, but he's shot. This is Fernoy takes a great rebound. He finds Fletcher, and he goes off to the races. Fletcher looking to go to the basket. Lovely move by Ramon Fletcher, but unfortunately the layup doesn't go in. But he did get to the basket well. He did get to the basket. Uh, it looked like a good layup, but, but the uh, the Lions team kept him under pressure. I've seen the Eagles overcome much bigger deficits than six at even late stages in a game. But, you know, London have had the edge, and the Eagles used to find need to find that little bit of... Extra chemistry, I think, just to gel that little bit more and, and try and probe for weaknesses in the Lions' defence. Joe Hodge has been called for a foul on Zaya Taylor, and Zaya Taylor fouled in the act of shooting, goes to the line for two free throws and makes the first. And the second up. And makes the second as well, so that now puts, uh, pushes the Lions lead up to eight, 69 to 61, with 9:20 left to go in the game. Fletcher with the ball for the Eagles, trying to set some little Fennoy wide open, drives into the middle, goes back out to Martin, who can't quite take a shot. He finds Jackman, who back out to Hart, Hart looking for a three, and Hart makes that three. Nice ball movement from the Eagles, nice shot from Joe Hart. 69 64 lives. Yeah, despite his quick look away there to see if it was.